Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. Today we've got the Korg Volca Keys alongside the PO33KO. Now, if you've ever tried to make uh, some, like, ambient, dare I say ambient, I don't know, and sound like everybody else, uh, type music on the PO33, you've probably noticed that uh, each track is monophonic. Um, now, I'm just going to show you guys an easy way to uh, kind of get around that, and it's literally as simple as using a second track. So we're going to sample uh, a chord on the PO or on the uh, Korg Volca keys here. Whoops! Let's go up a couple octaves. Let's get our attack up. How about A minor? That sounds nice. Get some delay in there as well. More attack. There we go. Awesome. So for the sake of sampling this, I'm going to use the Arturia key step. Go ahead and plug that into the MIDI out. There we go. Cool. So I'm just going to record that into slot one. I'm going to hold record. One. We're sampling now. Awesome. Let's uh, hear it back. Cool. Awesome. And I think I'd like to have a major chord variant as well, so we're going to sample this into slot three. And you'll see why in just a second. So record, three. There we go. Okay, and we are now done with uh, with the Volca Keys for now, unless I want to play something live over it. So there we go. We got our sounds on the PO33. So we're going to go back to our first sound, which is the minor chord. Now let's say we wanted to play something that sounded, uh, you know, kind of spacey. Well, you'll notice as soon as I switch chords, it stops playing the other one. How do we get around that? It's really easy. We're just literally going to copy this patch into its own uh, bank here. So we're going to hold sound. We're on sound one. Now we're going to hold right, hold sound, press number two. Now we've copied it into slot two. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to slot three and copy that into slot four. So now, if we want to sequence something, we can be in slot one right here. We can put it on beat one. We can come over to slot two. And let's, uh, let's uh, take this chord right here. Let's put that right on beat three. Now let's listen. And if we, uh, if we bring the tempo way down, We can hear they no longer cancel each other out. Now I don't want them that close together, so what we can do is go to pattern two and put whoop, put this chord right here onto the downbeat there. Now let's chain pattern one and pattern two and have a listen. So they're a little a uh, little too far spaced out. Let's bring the tempo up just a bit. That's pretty neat. And just like that, we now have uh, two chords that can play independently of each other. And we can take that a step further. We can go to one of our major patches here. Let's put this pattern three on number one. Now for pattern four, for our last pattern, we'll want to go to sound four, because we don't want it to cancel out the other one. And I kind of like uh, that chord right there. Let's put that on one. Now let's chain one, two, three, four, and let's listen. From 
from there we can mess with our parameters. So we can go in there and be, we can be like, well, chord number two is a little too loud. So now we have to navigate the broken screen of my, uh, of my BO33. All right, so that's volume. And we know it's this chord right here. So we'll just replace it there. Now let's listen to one, two, three, four. There we go. Now we have this kind of dark, spooky business here. And now we can just kind of jam with it. Now this is not gonna sound good at all or anything like that. Uh, there's no tempo, there's no uh, drums or anything going, there's no reference for me to play to. I just wanted to show you guys just a quick uh, little workaround on how you can uh, get polyphony from the same track just by, by copying it. So uh, here we go, let's just crank up the portamento on here and see if we can come up with something terrible. How about that? Oh, I always forget on the PO33, when you hit play, or to pause it, it just, it just stops. So there you go, just a little example, a uh, quick little tip today, uh, nothing too special, pretty much just a common sense trick, but uh, again, something people tend to gloss over on the PO33. Uh, you do get four full tracks, so uh, try to use them as best you can. That doesn't just have to be bass, lead, chords and drums. <laughs> you can you can really get some some killer stuff out of this. Say you didn't need a second major track or a second minor track, that could have become the drums, you know, or bassline. You can you can really do a lot with uh, with the PO33. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on it. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay, doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Check out the links below and we'll see you next time. Bye.